Oh, I, like, I was there like, I ran to the other end of the pitch and then I was like, oh, fucking hell, I'm knackered now, I've got to run back. Like, <laughs> and I was thinking, right, I hope they don't start attacking down my side of flowing a bit here. Ooh, I still remember pe meeting people Ooh, on the pitch that day, like who maybe I haven't met since, Ooh, maybe even passed away, and it was just a very emotional Ooh, time. Sat like, and it kind of freeze framed meetings with those people at that moment, like, was just ridiculously important. You know, he hadn't been down there before, so was gonna, we were all like, what's going on, you know, why is he down here, you know, what's, what's he doing, like, and then that went in and it came out after that, I suppose, that he attacked him, and, like, he was absolutely a bolt in the blue, but Brian obviously had his reasons or whatever, but it was, uh, it was a complete shock at the time. It was crazy, you know, people phoning you up for tickets and lads at the club asking you, you know, can you get tickets and stuff like that, so it was it created such a buzz around the place that, um, it was just it was just brilliant to be part of. Cork is a special place and the fans, the atmosphere, the sport. I mean that year from start to finish they were great. Like the travel, I think I never seen such an away crowd up in Shelburne. Um never seen such a crowd in Shelburne to be honest. What did you say to one here that night? This is a nice young fella and uh, they're not gonna be winning the league that season. I'll tell you what I heard. <laughs> I heard that you turned around to Owen Heary and said, Player of the Year. You're shit, boy. Uh, me? Yeah. No, I, I'm, too, I'm too much of a gentleman now to say something like that to a, a fellow professional, or you should know that.